Bokitov. I'm Stephen Ben Danun with Israeli News Live on this July 17th, and the war between Israel and Hamas continues to rage on. Uh, an, uh, an Egyptian official had this to say in Israeli uh, Israel's national news, reported the article from a former um, um, Egyptian minister, uh, Hamad al Arabi, said. Hamas was shedding the blood of innocent Palestinians by attacking Israel. Now, before I go into the article, it's kind of interesting. Yesterday, Israel did a ceasefire for six hours in order for humanitarian aid to get into, the, into Gaza. However, Hamas continually rained down rockets upon Israel, not honoring any ceasefire whatsoever. Israel, however, did honor it as best they could. Uh, a former Egyptian foreign minister, Mohammed al-Arabi, said Thursday that Hamas was not serious about a ceasefire and that the terror group was deliberately uh, trying to embarrass Egypt, speaking in an interview in an Egyptian newspaper. Uh, al-Arabi blamed Hamas for not only failing to come to a ceasefire, but for shedding the blood of innocent Palestinians by continuing to attack Israel. Hamas does not want Egypt to fulfill uh, its obligations as a negotiator between the two sides. Al-Arabi said they do this at the cost of the blood of innocent Palestinians who are caught up in the Israeli response to the rocket attacks. During the nine days of operations protective edge, the IDF has caused a massive uh, amount of damage in Gaza, destroying buildings that were used by terrorists to fire rockets at Israel, despite Israel's efforts to avoid uh, civilian casualties. Some 200 people have been killed in Gaza so far, uh, more than half of them Hamas terrorists. In other news as well, RT News is on the ground in Gaza reporting on their version of the conflict. Now, might I add, as we watch RT News' response to the Israeli-Gaza conflict, we obviously see a biased side to the Russian television network, and apparently for good reason. We have to understand that the Russians, uh, Vladimir Putin, the, prime, uh, the president of, of Russia, had, had already made a deal, a signed deal, with President uh, or supposedly President Abbas of the Palestinian people for the gas and oil in this region. Of course, Gaza carries the natural gas off its coastline, just as Israel does its own. And the Palestinians have a huge oil reserve under the West Bank. In reality, though, all the land does belong to Israel. It's only been given over to the Palestinians in the two-state peace accord that was negotiated out by the Vatican. Yeah, there's some that say that there's not two states, but in reality, there really is. So RT does have an agenda, and I have watched this over and over as I watch their news broadcast, that they're intentionally citing that Israel is the bad guy and Gaza is the good guy. They also mention how that Israel, or excuse me, that Hamas, uh, when they shoot in their rockets, they're little bitty tiny rockets. However, they forget to tell you about the uh, 175s, the, the very large rockets that have a 175 mile kilometer uh, reach that was shipped in by Iran. So yes, Hamas does have plenty of firepower and they seem to not care. In fact, what's different between the Israelis and Hamas is that the Israelis always take and phone and try to warn the Gazan residents there of the attacks that are going to happen, especially if it's a specific building, giving them time to evacuate the building. However, the Gaza, the Hamas terrorist group in Gaza, they give no warning whatsoever, and they intentionally target civilians because that's their aim. They do not have any care or regard for life. I'm Stephen Ben Danun with Israeli News Live.